What's up guys, it's Phoebe. I'm here at Disney's Hollywood Studios right outside Mama Melrose. That is something I did not think I would be saying on a vlog. Mama Melrose just got a brand new menu this week and I'm so excited to try it. This used to be one of my favorite restaurants on property. So we are back today. We're gonna try a few things and see how it is. So with that being said, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe and let's go have some Italian food. Amazing. Have an allergy friendly menu for you. Thank you. Will be your server. I will say another reason why I'm so glad they have an updated menu here is because I love the atmosphere. I'll show you a little bit of it at the end, but there's lights and greenery hanging from the ceilings. The boots are like red leather back and there's a lot of really cool artwork on all of the walls. What was so sad is my family and I used to come here every year during our big Disney trips. We love this place and over time and over the years the quality of food definitely wasn't as good as it used to be and we could all tell and so we kind of looked into other reservations when we would come so i'm so excited about this new menu and i'm excited to have my family come and try it too and also just having italian food again at hollywood studios that isn't pizza rizzo is nice because pizza rizzo is great for a quick meal but it is it's very much fast food pizzas and i think they have one pasta there too so it's nice having a sit down italian restaurant and I love the location of this. It's a little hidden. Um, maybe I'll show you as we're walking out, but you kind of have to go past Pizza Rizzo to find it. I'm taking a look at this new menu right now. They've got a lot of options for appetizers. I think I will be having to do the fried mozzarella sticks though. They've got a ton of entrees too. Let me, let me look right now. Let me pick this up. This may be a little easier. For entrees, they've got classics, fettuccine Alfredo. I see a lot of, I see a lot of pizzas on this menu. And then I see uh, they've got a steak on it too, chicken parm. I really am not sure because a lot of these pizzas are looking really good and they're pretty unique too. You've got a mushroom and goat cheese, <laughs> margarita, which isn't unique. Don't act like I said that, but prosciutto and honey. That sounds pretty good too. So I have no idea what I'm doing for entrees. And it looks like on the back of this menu, they have drinks i'm not seeing the desserts on this menu i'm assuming they have a separate menu for that so first thing i'm doing is definitely ordering the fried mozzarella for appetizer i'll figure out what i want for an entree after that so here they are i'm looking at the menu right now to see oh okay so this comes with a marinara sauce which is obviously this and then a lemon aioli so that is interesting. I feel like this isn't a standard nor traditional dipping sauce for mozzarella sticks, but we'll definitely be giving it a try. I also really like the plating for these. I'm here with my friend Dakota who doesn't want to be on camera tonight. Pull your mozzarella stick into the shot. There we go. Okay, I think we have to go for the marinara sauce first, right? Okay, let's take a little dip. Here, I'll dump some out too on this. Side. Oh, you just, okay, she just ate without me. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> that was the longest cheese pool I've ever been a part of. Guys, did you see that? I am really pleasantly surprised by these. They are served hot, great cheese bowl. The cheese is really gooey on the inside. Outside, I really like the seasoning. Okay, moth sticks are a great start to this meal for me. I'm curious about the house-made garlic bread, so I may come back for those another day. Oh, we have to try the lemon aioli with it. All right, smells like lemon, right? Let's try it. It too. It's kind of weird. I would say I prefer the marinara sauce with them. However, the lemon aioli is really unique and honestly, it's not bad at all. And if you like lemon, that you may really be a fan of it. I still don't know what I want for an entree. I feel like I have to do the pizzas, but like, I'm not the biggest fan of watercress and that's on the mushroom and goat cheese pizza. And then I don't really like ham and that's on the... That's obviously the prosciutto and honey pizza. They also have fish. I feel like 
If you're eating at an Italian restaurant, the best way to figure out if it's good or not is to go with something classic. So I'm thinking either fettuccine alfredo with shrimp or the chicken parm. Officially ordered, I went with the fettuccine with the shrimp. My entree has arrived now. I will say the food came out really quickly, but we had plenty of time to eat our appetizer before the entree came out. It was like right when we were finishing up with our appetizer, we had entrees on the table, which is really nice. So here it is. This smells phenomenal. Once again, I love the presentation and the plating. I think they're doing a great job on that. My waitress is waiting for me to try it. We've got a nice bite. Let's try it. Classic really nice fettuccine it is simple which in my opinion that is how fettuccine should be nothing fancy it tastes like it's cream and butter and garlic and parmesan which is perfect and i love the shrimp they're cooked really nicely they're a decent size too it's 32 dollars, and i think portion wise it isn't awful in terms of flavor i'm not comparing this to olive garden but I think at Olive Garden you can get like a shrimp fettuccine alfredo. I want to say 23 ish dollars. So this is a little steeper than that. I would say portion wise, I think they're about the same though. And this is Walt Disney World. So I'm, I'm not going to complain too much about it, honestly. So here's the dessert menu since we're finishing up now. They have a cannoli trio, a tiramisu, a tart, a chocolate cake, a mousse tart, gelato, and a cherry chocolate cake which my eyes immediately go to the cherry chocolate cake because I am such a fan of Morello cherries. So that one may be hard to pass up on. However, the goat cheese tart actually sounds really good too. It has honeycomb and an edible flower served with blackberries and a compote. They've got a lot of options on here. The cannoli trio also looks really good too. One has an orange cream, a caramel butterscotch, and then a traditional as well. Wow, the goat cheese mousse tart sounds so good. I feel like I have to go with the cherry chocolate cake. It also has a pomegranate molasses sauce on it. So I think that's what we're gonna get for $9. Also on the back of their dessert menu, they have some dessert drinks and coffees as well. So for the dessert, um, I actually went with the goat cheese tart. As you guys have seen, my peanut allergy is a journey. <laughs> and so the cherry chocolate cake is plant-based and so it does, I believe, have almond flour in it. So that's something to note if you're coming here. The allergy-friendly menu would tell you that. However, it is still being printed. So they will have that available later this week. So just a tip for if you come sooner than that, so I got the goat cheese tart, but I'm really excited about it because those were the two options that I couldn't choose between. It is 9.30 right now. So I got this reservation pretty last minute. So that's nice to hear that reservations are pretty easy to come by. The walk-up list is kind of a hit or a miss, but it's 9.30 and so there's like no one here right now because it is about to close. It closes at 10. Tonight is kind of a late night for Hollywood Studios and all of the waits are really non-existent. Like the longest one was Slinky Dog at 50 minutes. Rise, when I scanned in about an hour and a half ago, was posted at a 20 minute wait. And Tower of Terror was 13 minutes, which means it's a walk on. So really nice night and the weather is great. Um, but it's nice because when I show you around the restaurant after this, it'll be basically empty. So I won't have to have my camera in anyone's face. Here it is, the goat cheese tart, stepping up their plating game. Like this is great, I love it. So we've got the blackberries, we've got the sauce, and then we've got the honeycomb on top. I feel like I have to get a little bit of the honey, a little bit of the blackberry, and a little bit of the tart. So that's what I'm trying, that's what I'm poorly attempting to do right now. Okay, so this smells like goat cheese. I don't know why I didn't think it would smell like goat cheese. I think I was maybe thinking it would smell a little sweeter. Cheers. I'm going for number two. I am pleasantly surprised by this. I will say it's better with the honey and the blackberries and there aren't enough honey and blackberries for you to eat them with every single bite of the tart. The tart is really good though. I thought it was, once I smelled it, I thought it was maybe just gonna taste like straight goat cheese, but I think they did a really good job of combining flavors on this. It has a little bit of sweetness to it, but the goat cheese keeps it from being 
way too sweet. I like the tart crust that it's sitting in. I'm happy with this dessert. I think this is a solid option for you. I was debating on the cherry cake with this, like I've said a hundred times, but I'm happy I got this. I think it's unique. I've seen a lot of cherry cakes at restaurants, but not very many goat cheese tarts. So I think we went with a better, more unique option. Okay, they are closing up, so I don't wanna be in here too much longer. I want them to be able to get the restaurant closed. So I'm gonna finish up and pay here, and let's do final thoughts outside. So here's a little glimpse of what the restaurant looks like. Like I said, really pretty. I love the environment, and I love everything they have on the walls too. Like these are old Disney photos. Look at this one. Wow. So this was on Hollywood Boulevard. Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Tom and Jerry are both over here. We've got Mickey up there at the front of Hollywood Studios. That's a really cool shot. A lot of nostalgia in this restaurant. I, like I said before, I love the Italian music and I love all of the lights. So I'm really excited that they have this updated menu and to be able to bring my family back to and see what they think of it. And this is Gabby right Hello. here. She was talking with us before we were getting seated. What, have you tried the new menu yet? The I've updated menu? Okay, what's your favorite uh, thing on it so far? That was what I was maybe gonna do. Really okay, that one's good too. Okay. The, the goat cheese dessert? I got the goat cheese dessert. Like I liked it. Did you, did you like it? Did you she didn't it? try it. Try okay, but that's good to know. I'm definitely coming back and trying it though. I love the update menu. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, for sure don't have uh, Guys, why didn't you tell me this before I ate? <laughs> but thank you guys so much. Everybody here at Mama Melrose is so great and fun. So be sure to talk to them when you stop in. Yes. We're more at the front of the restaurant right now and they have a bunch of posters of a lot of really cool and famous people and they're saying they've all either eaten here or they were in the parade that went down Hollywood Boulevard, right? It was like the start of the day. Like yeah. a lot of these people like used to be um, the start of the day back when and now they're up on our wall. That's yeah. so cool. I know this girl from Teen Beach Movie, There's Maya like Mitchell. Yeah. There, oh, wait, Boyd. why did I go to Maya, Maya Mitchell when Mark Hamill is right above her? Yeah. Cameron Boyce, Dove Cameron. That's crazy. So you could sit here for a while and look at all these names. All right, I made my way a little further away, more towards the front. I'm on Sunset Boulevard right now. They are definitely closing up the park. Uh, I did run to watch the 10 o'clock Fantasmic though. So I just got out of that. I got really wet. I was sitting I was sitting in a splash zone and I didn't know it. So overall final thoughts on Mama Melrose. I am pleasantly surprised and really happy about how the food turned out. I'm excited to try a few more of the entrees too, but in regards to what I got, I'm really happy with it. The mozzarella sticks, I would definitely get again. I'm still laughing about that cheese pool too. Future me, I don't know how I'm gonna edit that, but I like could not even fit it into the screen, the cheese pool, which is insane. Overall entree, like I said, really solid fettuccine Alfredo. Nothing special, but it was good. Like that doesn't mean it's not good. And then the goat cheese tart to end it out. Every bite I had, it, it grew on me even more. And I would get that one again, I think. I was also interested to try the tiramisu. So next time I go, I may get that. I definitely have plans to go again and do another vlog and try a completely different appetizer on train dessert. So stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll do that one with my family when they come next. But I think that's gonna wrap up tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss my next vlog. I have a really fun one coming out on Wednesday. It's a new restaurant that hasn't been open since since COVID times. And so I'm gonna be trying that out opening day. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.